Now typing arrays and objects is going to be very similar to what we've already done with the variables that we've got here. So let's just define an array. Let's go const favorite dog names equals uh, an array. Let's go ahead and add rex. Got a dog named bones. Um, and if we hover over favorite dog names, you can see, yep, type strip has inferred that correctly. It's a string, an array of strings. So if we wanted to be explicit about that, we could just go string array. And then I could do, you know, favorite dog names dot push. And then we do first name. That works. And if we were to copy this line, oh, if we were to copy this line and change it to age, you can see we immediately get an error there. So what is that error? Argument of type number is not assignable to parameter of type string. And we can get rid of the explicit typings here. And you can see it's still going to fail. But what happens if we remove these initial values in our array? Now our error goes away, so we can push age no problem. However, if we hover over favorite dog names, we get a new type here, any. So now favorite dog names is an array of any. This any type is specific to TypeScript, and it's a type that indicates that any value can be passed into this uh, array or variable or however you're using it. Um, it's, it's essentially a way, if you do use it explicitly, it's a way for you to tell TypeScript, hey, TypeScript, you don't do your job. I'm going to do it for you. You have to trust me. Whatever type I throw in here is going to be the correct one. Don't worry about it. Generally, you're going to want to avoid using explicit any. And in any cases where you do see something typed as any like this, um, it's usually a good idea to add explicit types here. Now, with the strict option turned on, uh, a lot of times this is going to be caught, so you'll be forced to add an explicit type because there's a rule called no implicit any, which is enabled. Uh, however, that primarily applies to functions, which we'll see in an upcoming video. Now, I'll go ahead and add the types back on here. String. And let's take a look at defining an object here. So let's say const user equals that. Um, let's go name. Doug, age is 55, and then does he love ice cream? That's true. Now let's hover over this and see what TypeScript is inferred here. So it has correctly inferred um, the types, similar to what we've seen already with the array. If we want it to be explicit, we can. Um, and the, the syntax for this is kind of intuitive once you realize what we're doing here. However, it, it tends to be a bit hard to read. So I'd first start by, you know, this is an object. And once I explicitly type this as an object, then this is almost uh, similar to saying any. So when we just type this as an empty object, we're telling TypeScript like, hey, this is an object, it's got properties, just do whatever, we don't care. But we can be a bit more explicit here. So this is an object with type name, which is a type string. Now that I've added that, you can see right away, type name, uh, uh, oh, sorry, yeah. So type string name age loves ice cream is not assignable to the type name of string. So we only can specify known properties and age does not exist. So let's go ahead and add an age, just a number. We can hover over again, loves ice cream. Loves ice cream does not exist in type, you know, the type we've defined here. So take some time to read these errors. The, the vocabulary around them is a bit tricky, but you'll get used to it over time. So make sure to read them fully because they always tell you exactly what's wrong. So let's go ahead and add that here. Loves ice cream. And that's a Boolean. Uh, now, this is useful to explicitly type objects again, the same reason we illustrated with the arrays. So if I go user dot age, loves ice cream name, we get all of that autocomplete there. I cannot create undefined properties on this. So let's say, you know, middle name equals Alex. That's not possible because this property does not exist on this type we've defined up here. In the next video, we're going to talk about some extra types, dealing with undefined, dealing with void, uh, and take a look at functions.